Trigger.com on Friday, July the 19th, after the market closed, taking a look at Silver Nail up a half a percent today and uh, forming a little bit of a handle here on a cup uh, after making a bottom here in late June of $18.17. Got up to high of 2025, uh, closing today at $19.46. Um, been in a downtrend, of course, uh, for quite some time. Uh, blue line is your 50-day moving average, very important moving average. Headed to the downside. So is your shorter-term 21-day moving average, uh, this red line here, to the downside. Uh, one good thing is our 10-day moving average, this gray line, has now crossed over the 21, which is a sign of strength. It uh, hasn't done that since uh, um, uh, back in early May here. Uh, which didn't uh, pan out to be very much, but nonetheless, uh, we do have a cross. Um, trying to get some action going uh, uh, in the metals here to the upside. Uh, looking for anything uh, I can see that uh, is bullish. Um, looking down here at the secondary indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, moving to the upside, crossed over back here uh, in uh, the first week of July. Um, uh, so both in, uh, indicators, short term and longer term, are moving to the upside. Uh, down here at your stochastics, a uh, little bit of, different of a different picture. Uh, got up here to the overbought uh, uh, territory, which is above 80. Uh, Turn back, both indicators are moving uh, down um, uh, in a downward direction. So uh, the momentum on the stochastics is to the downside. So not such a great indicator. Um, however, correcting up off of the overbought condition is uh, to be expected. You can notice the bl uh, uh, green line here, this is your on balance volume, is making sort of a cup shaped base here, uh, moving uh, up uh, since uh, uh, early this month. Uh, so there's a little positive sign. So money flowing in uh, instead of out of the silver. Um, this is your relative strength. This is your strength versus the S&P 500. That's pretty flat there. So kind of holding its own here. Um, I would say that silver right now is in what I call a low volume consolidation. Now, one thing that we have to do to get any kind of momentum going on the silver is to clear this blue line, the 50-day moving average, which is currently at about $21. So um, still in a downtrend uh, uh, in the intermediate term. Uh, short term, I'm going to call that just sideways action. Um, uh, you know, and, and clearing certainly the 50-day moving average will bring silver into a uh, more bullish uh, pattern. Uh, if you draw a line along the tops, you can notice that we're coming back up into what I call overhead resistance here, and uh, got turned away at 20.25 here. Um, uh, back for about a dollar correction here. So um, let's hopefully we can group here, regroup here, take out 2025, give us an assault on the $21 range, and start clearing and closing above the 50-day moving average. That would make me bullish. So thank you very much for listening.